Alright guys, this is Cody from Funchcopia and today we're out hunting my take, which is Hen of the Woods or Griffola frondosa. And this is probably, not even probably, it is the most versatile gourmet mushroom. And they grow at the base of oak trees. They're a brown rot, a root rot fungus. And uh, this is kind of unique. Uh, sometimes you'll find two or three growing with a tree, but uh, I've actually found uh, substantially more today. We've got uh, at least five different heads coming up here. And, uh, yeah, wow, are these ever delicious. See the uh, long feather-like fronds? These guys tend to come out at the end of summer when we start getting uh, warm days still, but cooler nights. And uh, they're actually three weeks behind right now. It's the 20th of September. We normally get these uh, like near the end of August, so we're actually about three weeks behind. Oh, these are so beautiful. You can see why they call them hen of the woods. They, they do look like sort of a chicken lying at the base of a tree, eh? the feathering. These are absolutely delicious. My absolute, top three favorites for sure. One of my absolute favorites to find though. So that's hen of the woods. And normally you want to let these little guys continue growing, but uh, because this is a, near a, a local park, I'm actually gonna harvest today. And the meat is super succulent, super tender. This is a really nice meaty one. I absolutely adore these guys. And uh, <clears throat> they dry out really well. You can rehydrate them, unlike chicken of the woods, the orange one. This one is one of the most versatile mushrooms in the kitchen. There's tons of different ways to store it long term, so you can eat it over the winter. And uh, if you want to grow it yourself, we actually sell the kits, the syringes, uh, liquid culture syringes, and uh, cultures. So you can get those at fungicopia.com. And I have two wild isolates that are from my local area. One's more aggressive than the uh, the two commercial strains that I have, which are the ones that usually supply grocery stores, the, the rare few that actually do carry Hen of the Woods. Beautiful, beautiful mushroom. I absolutely love these guys. Probably next to my Matsutake, the Maitake is probably my favorite to find. In Japan, it literally means, maitake means the dancing mushroom because people, when they found them in the mountains, they were said to dance around and jump around from excitement. And really, it's uh, <laughs> I totally understand that feeling. It's a really, really nice, rare treat. So keep your eye out for these guys. They'll always be growing at the base of oak trees. Occasionally, very, very seldomly, you'll find them growing on beech. I've never seen them growing on maple, and believe me, I've looked. So they do grow in other hardwoods, but uh, you're more than likely going to find these guys at the base of oaks. So with Griffola frondosa, the hen of the woods, uh, the color will range from like a white to a cream color to gray to even sometimes a light purple color. So they, they really do vary in color and they're very tender. Uh, the only one that sort of looks alike would be the Berkeley's polypore and the black staining polypore. Um, the Berkeley's polypore is also uh, edible so it doesn't taste anywhere near as good as the hen, but uh, there's not really any dangerous look-alike, so this is a really easy one for amateurs to go out and find. And uh, you can see they drop white spores, so there's a little bit of white on the uh, on the, f the fronds. But these guys are incredible. I'm, I'm so excited. Today's going to be a wonderful day. So that's Hen of the Woods. Okay, so here we got a couple of big hens. They're a decent size. And uh, this is a tree that puts out every year, but last year was a really bad year for hens in our area. We uh, didn't get much rain. So this tree actually didn't produce last year, but you can see this year it's producing quite a few. And there's actually three heads here. There's a fourth here, a fifth, a sixth, and a seventh head. So this tree is just putting out heads like crazy. Now, it has been dry for about a week, so these are actually going to stop growing now. You can see this one's actually starting to crack a little bit. So I'm going to harvest all of these now because they're going to abort, they're going to stop growing. And this tree might put out another flush uh, later in October. 
but they don't always put out a second flush in a season. And uh, if you're, these are actually in a local park, but if you're if you're harvesting in your local areas and public areas, you have to ensure that they don't use any herbicides because these mushrooms will uh, potentially carry those, and you don't want to eat that. So, um, but they do grow on basically any area as long as you've got big oaks, you'll find hen of the woods. Beautiful. And so, your knife. Right? And so uh, to harvest these guys, we'll use a knife. And basically, the feathers that you see here, they all reconnect to one big stem, and then there's a base on it. So these ones are actually kind of tough because they're really low to the ground, but I'll take this little one here. And if you leave the stem, it's not necessary, but um, we'll, we'll leave one of these heads so they can continue dropping spores. But you get a nice, you can see succulent, very, very dense meat. This is just a little tiny head. And these little tiny fronds here are actually much better when they're small like this because they're very tender. I'm just going to actually pry this one because they're too low to the ground. As you can see, I just took out the stem there. Took out the whole chunk. Set two heads on it. So, got those guys. We got about five pounds of this tree. Oh, we got that guy. And we'll leave that little guy there. This guy, and we'll leave these two little guys here as well. Continue dropping the spores. There we go. And we got our hens, and the tree will continue to get spores dropped on it, and we will get more next year with any luck. Got a real treat for you. We're out hunting Maitake, also known as Grifola frondosa, and that's the hen of the woods. And uh, what you gotta do, that's one down there, you gotta look for these big massive oak trees. With these tremendous, the bigger the oak tree, the more likely you're gonna find them. Uh, these guys don't start coming in the Simcoe area or around the Great Lakes region until we start getting the cooler nights. Uh, they, they tend to pop in the US a lot sooner than they start here. And you always find them growing at the base of oaks. Um, they're brown rot fungi or, or root rot. Uh, and so you'll find them at the base of dead oak stumps. Uh, some people think they only grow on dead oaks or cut cut trees, but uh, no, they, they actually, I find most of mine actually with just giant oaks that grow off the base. They will eventually kill the tree over a long span of time. Um, they're very aggressive mycelium, but they're absolutely beautiful. You can see the little tiny feathers. This is just a primordia, so this is just a really small one. You can see it's about the size of my hand. So this guy we're gonna let keep growing for another week or so. They, they kind of look like a like a chicken, sort of. Like when they get a little bigger, it's more more pronounced. Um, but they they do have these feathers sort of shaped to them, and uh, they do need the cold nights. So usually we're about two weeks behind this year actually because we've had some really warm weather here in the fall. But uh, these guys uh, typically start growing at the end of August in my area. But uh, like I said, this is the first one I've found. Uh, my friend Brian found one about three days ago. And uh, his was full grown, so <clears throat> that was kind of neat. But yeah, we're gonna leave this guy here to grow and we'll come back in another couple days. So this is like the perfect stage for my talk, Griffola frondosa. You see these tiny little fronds just starting to form? This thing is a solid brick of hen of the woods meat right now. It almost looks like oyster mushrooms. But each of these little tiny heads will develop into a big feather or frond. This thing will literally explode. You can see these beautiful. See this from the underside. So I just cut this with my knife. It's a solid piece of meat. This is the ideal size for Hand of the Woods. Primordia stage, but a large. And this is an adolescent this is what the feathers will look like when they branch out. Beautiful white pores. Beautiful, beautiful color. Look at this dark variation. And this is what the nice white pores look like. So, just some absolute gorgeous ones out today. And some cinnabar chanterelles, cinnabar polypores, horn of plenty, turkey tail. Bear's Tooth, Chicken of the Woods, Giant Puffball, 